This video is a chapter from both my free Getting Started with TK9 course and the complete TK9 button by button guide. One of the things that sets the TK9 plugin apart is that it can be customized in a variety of ways so you can tailor it to your specific workflow. In case you ever need to recover your personal TK9 settings, each module can now be backed up and restored. And in this video, I'll show you how to do that. All of the TK9 modules allow you to customize them in a variety of ways, such as your language preference, turning selection indicators on or off, button color intensity, user presets, actions, and a lot more. We've seen some of these already, and the others are explained later in the button by button guide. To support that degree of customization, TK9 now provides a way for you to back up your settings so they can easily be restored in the event of a computer crash, reinstalling Photoshop, or simply moving your settings over to a different computer. The flyout menu on each module is where you initiate saving backups and restoring from backups. When you click backup user data, this message window opens with instructions on how to save a backup. So if you don't remember the procedure, the panel will tell you. Each TK9 module requires its own backup folder. When you click continue, you'll either navigate to a backup folder that you've already created, or you'll need to create one. If this is your first time creating any backup folders, I'd recommend just clicking cancel and getting all the backup folders set up first. Here's how to do that. First, minimize Photoshop. Next, decide where on your computer you want to store your backups and navigate there. To keep this demonstration simple, I'm going to save the backups on my desktop, but in reality, I save my backups to a folder on a separate hard drive that also gets backed up to the cloud. It's the same place where I keep my TK9 download folder with all the installer files in it. That way, if the main hard drive on my computer fails, I can easily reinstall TK9 and also restore my custom settings. Wherever you decide to keep your backups, start by creating a folder there. So I'm going to do it right here on my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to call this TK9 backups. And inside that folder, I'm going to make a folder for the backup of each module. So the first one I'll call multi mask backup. And the second one I'll call combo backup. And you get the idea. So I'll hit fast forward. The MA1, MA2, and so on backup folders are for the additional My Action tab backups. So My Actions tab one and so on. If you don't make all the backup folders now, you can always add them later. Now let's go back to Photoshop and save a backup of each module. I'll start with Multimask, go to the flyout menu, come down and click Backup User Data. Click continue and navigate to my desktop where I have my TK9 backups folder and then select the multi mask backup folder and then click select folder. And the backup is finished. And now I'm going to repeat the process for each module. And that's it. I've now backed up all of my modules. If you haven't made changes to any of the modules yet, then the backups really aren't necessary until you do. Remember that backing up is not automatic. So once you do begin altering the default settings or adding your own actions and presets, you'll need to back up a module each time you modify something in it. So 
With the backups, now we can restore, but when would you need to restore your save settings? Well, as I said earlier, it could be that you have had to reinstall Photoshop and or the TK9 plugin for some reason, and you wanna get all your settings back, or you might be installing TK9 on a second computer, such as your laptop, or perhaps you're setting up a brand new computer that you just got. To restore your settings for a module, simply go to that module's flyout menu, come down to restore, and this opens a message window with instructions on what to do in case you don't remember, and then click continue. And you'll navigate to the location of that module's backup. So in my case, it's in my TK9 backups folder, and this is the multi-mask module. So I'll open that and click select folder. And now my settings have been restored. Here are a few additional things to make note of with module backups. Each backup folder can only contain a single backup. When you create a new backup, the previous backup will be overwritten. If you want to save more than one backup state at a time, you'll need to create separate backup folders. The same goes for restore. Any current module settings that aren't part of the backup will be overwritten. Module backups that include your own actions, such as my actions or web sharpen and export, only save the module link to your actions, but not the actual Photoshop actions themselves. Your actual actions need to be backed up separately through Photoshop's actions panel menu. The same is true if you're using your TK9 module backups to transfer your settings to another computer. The module backups will transfer the links to your actions, but not the actual actions themselves. You would need to use Photoshop's actions panel menu to save and transfer your sets of actions separately. And that's it. Now, periodically updates for the TK plugin are released to provide bug fixes and sometimes to introduce new features. You should not need to restore your settings when installing an update. TK9 updates will override the previous plugin version and your settings will be transferred over at that time. So I love that TK9 has so many ways to personalize it to fit my workflow. And I also love that it allows me to back up my settings and presets so I can quickly get them back when I need to.